So I, 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 I'm sewing. I bought a Kansu. I normally have a sewing machine tech come out, spend, spend lots of money uh, trying to get my machine fixed because I'm feeling like, oh man, I can't do this myself. I don't know what to do. Broken needles. And you say, well, how do I put my the needle inside my system? Well, let me show you. First, there's all kinds of needles that they sell in the store. Well, in a professional fabric uh, shop or wherever you get your needles from. This is one of my favorites uh, right here because you can see I don't have many of them. That's what I use right there. And this is what I used. 135 by 17. Um, the ones that I love the most are this brand right here. Now, I think these work for me good. I believe I have a few packs of these. that other brand. But let me show you how it's done. I'm not very educated on what needle is for what but i know for me doing my leather and my fabric i love these needles here and and uh no it's not the 135 16 i like the most i believe i believe it's the 135 by 17 is what i use the most although i've used those a lot so so let let me let me show you right here So if your needle break, you're gonna have to come in here and you have to loosen this screw that's right here. Right there. If you loosen that screw too much, then you're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna have to take that and try to put that up there first because it don't take much for this needle to come out. So let me show you these needles and, and, I'm, and it's easy to figure out. And, but but it's very important to understand the system of the needle because if the needle's not put in there correctly, your sewing machine timing is going to be off. See, there's an indention, indention in this needle right here. See it right there? I normally let this down. And I slide the needle up into the hole where the last needle was. And since I, I, I don't have anything to get it straight, I, I normally take my little knife I have like this that my little head is off, a little kitchen knife. Uh oh, now nah, that's the wrong way because I can see it right there. So I'm about to take my needle out, put it on face it the right way first. Slide it up in there as tight as it can go. Then I make sure that that indention is evenly face this way because if it's a little bit to the right or too much to the back I mean to the front to the back see how I can turn it like that you want it even because if it's if not even it's going to throw your timing off it's going to make your machine act real funky because remember in my last video I told you guys that the thread has to come from the left side not the right because if the thread on the right it's going to keep coming out the fabric every time you try to sew so if this needle turn this way or that way towards the back or this way it's going to jump out it's going to do the same thing i kind of feel like this needle in here is not actually positioned correctly but you'll know when you start sewing so there you go i need to put this back in this front guy I'm letting this thread back out. Take my fabric and test it. When you're in sew, most of the time they want to hold a needle back like this a little bit. A little tension. So you see how that did that? To me, that tells me my needle is off. It's off. It's just off by a little bit. Just a little bit. I can see it. You need something pointy that you can stick in there hole just a little bit. Just turn it. Cause see my hand's a little too big. I'm 
My hands are a little too big to do that, so I, I, I can't do it. There you go, I just try to get, to me that looks perfect now. You don't have to tighten the screw that, that super tight, but just a little tight to make sure it's all right. Let's push the string a little bit. My tension could be a little too tight in here too. There you go. If you'd like to see more of our videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.